In, in drought prone California, it is really great to see uh, rain and snow, but it is really not the best conditions to drive in, right? So we are pulled off where it is safe and out of the way. But behind me, you can see the backup of semi trucks. We are just uh, between Cisco Grove and Kingvale, and that's where those train controls are in effect uh, for vehicles that do not have all wheel or four wheel drive here. So uh, as you mentioned, it is making it difficult for snow plows to remove the snow off of I-80 here because of these multiple spin outs. Now, uh, I'll have to tell you on the drive here, it was quite the uh, sample platter of winter conditions. It was raining, of course, and also windy with pine needles in the road. And, um, and also we were driving through thick bands of fog as well. So it was up until here around 6,000 feet elevation where we did see the snow sticking onto the road. And really that's where it is causing uh, these difficult driving conditions. So I'll toss it now to Monica to give you more updates on the forecast. Yeah, Van, this is just a really heavy, thick snow, as you were mentioning, and it makes it especially difficult for driving. Rain in the valley starting to taper off, but it's really coming down for the foothills with the patchy fog as well. Snow falling along Highway 50, 80, 88, 89, 120, 104, north of 80 as well, up towards Lassen, Plumas, and Butte counties. We're looking at areas of snow. Winter storm warning will stay in effect through tomorrow evening. Heavy snow, limited visibility, very difficult travel. That will be true as well north of I-80. In fact, wind gusts could still be up to 70 miles per hour above 5,500 feet. We're looking at difficult conditions. And then we head over to the burn scars where we still have our flash flood watch in effect until 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. We did uh, notice that there was a slide around Polga, so there is some slipping that's going on right now. We'll continue to follow that. Meantime, for the valley, lighter winds on and off showers. We'll have more on the timing of when this all wraps up and how much rain and snow. We'll see.